Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking to find the equation of the tangent line to this given curve at this point. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the slope. We're going to do that using the derivative. And the derivative of this we're going to do using the quotient rule. So that's going to involve the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. This is over the denominator squared. And this is x squared plus x plus 1. The derivative of x squared power function, bring down the exponent. New exponent is the old one minus 1, so 2 minus 1 is x to the first power. x to the first power is just x. And we have minus the derivative of 1 is just 0, so minus 0, don't even have to write it minus x squared minus 1 times the derivative of x squared we just found was 2 to the x plus the derivative of x in the linear term so its derivative is just its coefficient so plus 1 plus the derivative of a constant is just 0 so we don't even have to write that over x squared plus x plus 1 squared now this is your derivative if you're actually um, asked to give the derivative you might want to clean this up a little bit distribute and combine like terms and all that but we're looking to find the slope of the tangent line when x is equal to 1. So therefore, we just have to find the value of the derivative when y, or when x is equal to 1, which just involves us plugging this in. So we get 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 minus 1 squared minus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1 over 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 squared. This is equal to... 1 squared is 1, plus 1 plus 1 is 3, times 2, minus 1 minus 1, so minus 0, times 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3, over 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 squared. So this is equal to 3 times 2 is 6, minus 0, over 9. This is equal to 2 thirds, so the slope of the tangent line at this point is 2 thirds. So if we have the equation of the line, y equals mx plus b, we now that know that the slope is 2 thirds, so m is 2 thirds. And since we know that this equation is true when x is 1 and y is 0, if we plug those in, making sure this is separate, 0 equals 2 thirds times 1 plus b, 0 equals 2 thirds plus b, subtract both sides by 2 thirds, we get that b is equal to negative 2 thirds. So therefore the equation of the line to the given curve at the point is y is equal to 2 thirds x plus b, which is negative 2 thirds, so minus 2 thirds. So this is going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.